Good morning, all my Sunday school students. Um, today is Easter, so happy Easter. Easter is a time for rejoicing and usually coming together. But I want to go over something that I used to do with the Sunday school class when we were all together um, during this time, and hopefully you'll like it. I, I had one of these at home. The rest of them are at Sunday school, so I thought we would go over it. So this is... Um, the story behind Easter. Hosanna in the highest. Mark 11.10 Blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Father, the time has come now. John 17, 1. After Je Jesus said this, he looked toward heaven and prayed, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, that your Son may glorify you. When he had finished praying, Jesus left with his disciples and crossed the Kidron Valley. On the other side, there was a garden, and he and his disciples went into it. Now Judas, who betrayed him, knew the place, because Jesus had often met there with his disciples. So Judas came to the garden, guiding a detachment of soldiers and some officials from the chief priest and the Pharisees. They were carrying torches, lanterns, and weapons. Jesus, knowing all that was going to happen to him, went out and asked them, Who is it you want? Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. I am he, Jesus said. And Judas the traitor was standing there with them. When Jesus said, I am he, they drew back and fell to the ground. And Jesus breathed, his last mark 15:37 with a loud cry jesus breathed his last he has risen matthew 28:7 then go quickly and tell his disciples he has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into galilee there you will see him now I have told you. Matthew 28, 8. So the women hurried away from the tomb, afraid yet filled with joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to him, clasped his feet, and worshipped him. And so now on Easter, we celebrate the rising or enlightenment of our inner Christ. I like to parallel it to a butterfly emerging from its darkness, its tomb. The butterfly, as a caterpillar, has to go through a huge, painful transformation, like Jesus upon the cross. However, when the chrysalis cracks open, like the tomb opening up, a beautiful, enlightened butterfly emerges and takes flight upwards into a higher understanding. This is what we are all reaching for as we look within. We are embracing that enlightenment that we've inherited through the risen Christ within all of us. Thank you for joining me on this beautiful day and Easter blessings to all. I'm sorry you can't all be together and celebrate, but we're all together right here. We're all connected in that oneness we know as Jesus Christ who has risen. Happy Easter, everyone.